Hey everyone, um, I'm Cody. I used to do a lot of videos on here with painting and everything, but I have some exciting news and a shopping haul for you guys in this video. But I have started a ceramics business. I run um, out of my school because I don't have like a wheel or anything like that and I'm going to be posting more clay and wheel throwing related videos on here and um yeah so just look out for that but I just wanted to show you all the stuff I got I'm in Maryland right now I'm about 30 minutes away from Baltimore where I was born but they have cool art supply stores there so yeah I'm going to show you all the glazes that I got and some other cool things so let's get started okay so the first thing that I got at um or the first store that I went to was Blick Art Materials. So I got this big bag. It's backwards. And um, I wanted to start making shirts for my business and I wanted to start printing my logo on the boxes because I'll just like recycle boxes or whatever, but I at least want it to look like something that I made. So I got this and it's a screen there's plastic over it right now so like there's a reflection but it's a screen and i'm going to cut out vinyl and then heat press it onto here and then you take this squeegee and this green i also got white but that's gonna be in a little bit but um you heat press the vinyl on here and then you prep you put your shirt underneath and this on here then you pour your ink on there and squeegee the ink over and then you lift this up and it'll leave like your design on there so I'm gonna do that with that and I'm super excited um so yeah I got this screen and you can remove this little wiring or whatever it is piping and the screen will come out and you can replace the screen so you can have multiple designs on one frame or like interchange them and then this is the ink that I got for it so it's just like a hunter green my brands really like brown paper bags white black I like green a lot so I'm gonna start including that color into logos and stuff like that and then here's that squeegee that I got it's just a speedball one and I'll fit perfectly in there so that's exciting and then, um, this is the white ink that I got, and I will make a video on this once I start, um, screen printing on my boxes and everything. So that's just white ink for that project. And then these I got also at Blick, um, they are, like, carving tools, so I can carve clay. They're double-ended. And this is the fun part. Got wax resist so that I can do design. So this is starting to go into the ceramics part of um, creating. This is wax resist. So whenever you glaze your pots, you can put this on first and it will resist the glaze. So anywhere that this is, the glaze or under glaze won't attach to the pots. So then this is a glaze. It's called Sapphire Float. It's this gorgeous like milky blue color. And then I got Marigold, which is this bright yellow. These are all Amico brands, so if you like any of these, they're Amico, and then you can just look up the names. This is Indigo Float. It's a nice light milky blue color. And I also got Iron Luster, and I saw a swatch of this, like, in person today at the second store that I went to, and it has, like, if you can see, it has these brown, like, breaks on the higher parts of this texture, but it'll also break, like, a dark purple in these areas, which is super cool. I'm excited to test this out with some, um, textures. And then... I got this one, it's called Storm, it's like a dark, 
indigo blue color. Then I got deep fire brick, which is like a reddish brown color. I tried to get some more variety because usually I do like blues and greens and that's literally it. So I got some red, some yellows. This is textured tur turquoise. I have trouble saying that, but that's what that one looks like. Super cool. You can also tell that this one breaks on the higher parts of the texture. It'll break like a tan color, which depends on what clay body you use, but that's super cool. And then for my second store, um, I forget what it was called, but it was also in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, we took two separate trips because this one was not open on Sunday. But I got, these are Mako glazes. Um, it's called Muddy Waters. So it's like, these are kind of harder to see, but it's um, a brownish gray color and it'll break like blue or I have blue crystal like spots in it so I'm excited for that one and then this one's called light flux so that's what that one looks like and then this one is called celadon bloom it has crystals in it you can see them in the bottom there so this one need to be mixed up but I'm excited for that one um, and then I got stoned denim, which is another like bluish green. These pictures aren't as clear and bright as the Amico bottles, but that one's going to do some cool breaking and color variation on the textures as well. And then I got crackled white, which is obviously a crackled white color. <laughs> just gonna have little cracks in it it's pretty hard to see but I'll post these after they're done either on my Facebook page or my Instagram that will be linked down below then this is um, mason stain so you put this in your clay and you wedge it in and then it'll change the color of your clay so you can just get one bag of this and then put different amounts like a couple of grams and then like double that in a next like if you have two different balls of clay do like a certain amount and then double that and it'll make different like not colors but shades so that's cool I got a bag of that and then these are transfers so if you don't know a lot about clay or underglaze or glaze these are basically temporary tattoos but it's more of like a pink consistency for ceramics. So it works just like a temporary tattoo that you would use on your body. You just put it like paint sides down. Like you can tell this one's more vibrant than this side. So you would put this side down and then wet it and you can do it on wet clay, already fired clay, whatever. So you put it down, put a sponge over it and then peel it off and then it'll leave the pattern so I got that one and then I got this which is really cool and got this one I got a lot of black ones this time well not a lot I got three but um, I got black ones because I figured I could put new glazes on the inside of cups and put these on the outside or whatever so those are super cool. And then I got this little chamois. <laughs> this was only like a dollar and I crinkled it already, but it'll be fine. So whenever you're throwing your pots, the rims can get like pointed, which aren't great for cups because they don't feel good on your mouth while drinking. So while the wheel is moving with your piece on it, you just fold this over the edge very gently and it'll round over that edge for you and make it smoother and more comfortable for eating or drinking or something like that. And then I got two five pound pack bags of um, glazes that I'm gonna mix up once I get back home. But this one is Seamus, so it's like 
um, a dark green, but it has speckles of light green in it, which looked really gorgeous. I don't have a picture or anything, but I got this, and then I got another one, and this was the same type of, like, speckled, but it was a dark and light blue, so that's super exciting. And then I also got this. It's called... It's called Mother of Pearl, and you put it over the glaze. So if you know anything about, I don't know why it's not focusing. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It's just half an ounce of goodness. So if you know anything about ceramics, you would throw your ceramic piece, let it dry out, fire it once. That's when you would put under glazes or anything on it, and then, um or regular glazes and then you fire it again and then this would go on after you glaze your piece so normally that's when the piece would be finished but you can put this on and then fire it again and it'll give it like a pearlescent um or like it would make it look like a shell like if you know what those like rainbow kind of iridescent looking shells look like that's what would that's what it would look like <laughs> And that can vary from like what different color glazes you put underneath of it. So if you put a purple, it'll give that purple like a shiny iridescent color. So that's super cool and I'm super excited to get back home and try all of these things. And when I do, I will post another video. Um, but yeah, I will link my Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, um, my website. I do have a website with about... 150 different pieces on it if any of you guys want to check that out but definitely check out my facebook page that's where i um post the most and i hope you guys enjoyed this video give a like if you want um i hope to see you guys again bye